The USA Mars falls in Trump's 11th house, while the Ascendant is in Trump's 5th. This is very helpful in his drive to attract groups of people to his cause, since the 5th-11th axis is where his Sun-Moon-Uranus node's opposition is doing its work. Since it's Mars, you can expect the groups, meaning his followers, will connect on the basis of Mars, which brings in the belligerent, bellicose, combative nature of his crowds. They are angry and they want to get into a fight, and he's more than happy to encourage such sentiments, since he himself is also. Having your planets connected to the US 511 axis is fortunate because of the connections it will enable you to make. But you're also going to draw in the Neptune square, which happens to fall in Trump's second. Trump uses the Virgo position of Neptune to falsely appeal to his largely uneducated core followers by pretending to be in favor of the working man, which happens to be a key Virgo concept. But it is also a square, so he gets plenty of resistance from workers who see through his deception. Also, that Neptune is a USA 10th house planet, thereby becoming a key government planet. And since it is square to his sun and moon, it's telegraphing that however far he gets, the government is in large measure against him. Square. And worse, if and when the dust settles, they're going to focus on his money, second house. This is a very serious danger for Trump, and he knows it. The US moon is very close to his descendant. This is a strong asset because it enables him to relate to the public mood, moon, and his Aquarius setting matches the sign of the moon, so his relating style and message will definitely gain traction. But notice his Mars opposes that same US moon, so he's doing it in a vulgar, aggressive, combative style that will also turn off a lot of people. I'm betting the major turnoff is going to arrive when Saturn finally goes into Aquarius to stay in 2021 where it'll be for a good couple of years. He might hang on to a good portion of support during 2021 because Jupiter will also be there. But even though Jupiter trines his Gemini planets from that sign, it also opposes the same Leo planets. So I doubt it'll help him anywhere near enough to save him from Saturn's wrath. Also, by 2022, Saturn stays in Aquarius while Jupiter leaves. So expect further erosion or possibly total collapse in support by 2022. The U.S. Saturn in the third, conjoining his Jupiter, becomes a grounding conduit for his messaging, third house. But Saturn is also a force that will tend to censor and rebuke, which means many will oppose him from the beginning. And this especially relates to the media, which is a 3-9 axis ruled category. And with Saturn here, the press is going to constantly examine, discover, report, and push back. This tells you that the response to his persistent, repetitive, divisive messaging is a U.S. Saturn that isn't buying it and will constantly work to put the stop sign on him. Next, we see that the degrees of the U.S. Eris make a tighter connection by opposition to his Mercury than his own T-square planets. This is a warning that sooner or later, the gender category known as women, particularly aggrieved women, are going to come and get him. And it'll be no fun at all because this opposition happens across the 612 house axis, which is an area of enemies, losses, karmic retributions, and so on. When will this happen? Probably sooner than later, because transiting Eris, currently moving at a turtle-like speed through Aries, is now locking by square to his Saturn-Venus 12th house conjunction, and it's not going to let go of its grip until Trump reaches his 90s which is like saying for pretty much the rest of his life, and certainly in the decade of the 2020s. The U.S. nodes in Leo Aquarius are pulled into his rising Pluto, which I think explains why this wannabe dictator finds so much support. The nodes get fascinated by what they contact. So the USA is mesmerized by his fascistic impulses, but luckily this turns out to be a lesser number of people than those who oppose him, due to other chart dynamics. And finally, to top it all off, look at all those US cancer planets lighting up his 12th house. If you were a different person, the country is giving him the opportunity to be a solid, patriotic, and good public servant, 12th house. But unfortunately, he is a gangster. And so what he's risking here is the other meaning of the 12th house, prison. This receives special threatening emphasis 
through the US-Pluto opposition to his Saturn Venus. So, don't be surprised if Don Nikon eventually ends up in the slammer, which to be honest, he richly, very richly deserves.